for the wheel and tire project, we definitely got to get these bad boys cleaned up. These rims don't look like they've had any TLC in 11 plus years. So all we're going to do is use a cleaner, um, a scrub pad on the insides, on the back side there, something kind of non-abrasive on the front so we don't scratch them up. And then we're going to put some polish on them and see if we can't polish them up and get them shining again. And then as far as the tires go, this one's not in too bad a shape. I mean, the tread is really good on all of them because the trailer wasn't pulled many places, but with the tires just sitting that long, there's some dry rot and some cracking on some of the tires. So I went ahead and ordered four new tires that we're gonna get put on here. Uh, Allen's Automotive down the road will take care of that for us and get this bad boy ready to hit the road. And here's the inside of one of the tires. This is a rear one, so it had the brakes on it. Just spraying it down. You pick this stuff up at the dollar store. Good old mean green, super strength. Pretty much just spraying the tires down. Spray the insides, and then uh, just using a scrub brush. Cleaning brush, some elbow grease, and most of that stuff will come right off. And then we'll do the same on the other side, get them cleaned up. We want to check our hubs, right? Again, this is an older trailer, 2005, so we need to make sure that the bearings are still good. <clears throat> um, we don't have brakes on the front axle. We do have brakes on the back. We've got um, disc brakes on here. So we want to check the pads front and back, make sure they're good. Now, these hubs, these are uh, regular grease hubs. These are, I think this bearing, bearing buddy. <clears throat> now, these caps, there's like a blue inner lining that you can see in there. You just take a flathead screwdriver and there's an inner cap to it. You can peel that inner cap off. All right, you can see that's where the fitting is. This has got a lot of grease that has come out the front side of it, which should be a little bit, possibly, but not a ton of it. I don't think there's anything wrong unless there's a seal that's bad, but um, <clears throat> this is where the fitting is that your grease gun will fit onto is right there. So we've got our grease gun ready but what we want to do is we need to get this off and the way to get these off is just take a, a rubber mallet and we're just gonna hit it from each side here you can see it starting to work itself out all right now we can check the actual grease inside it's it's full of grease now I'll spin it and just sort of listen if I hear something grinding or something that doesn't sound right then I'd want to go ahead and Remove the pin, take the sleeve off. You pull the you pull the pin out. You remove that sleeve, and then you can get to the nut that's in there to undo that. And you can take the the whole hub off and check the bearings. You want to check the race on the back side, all right? But as long as you don't have any grease that's spewing out from the back side, all right, everything's everything's fairly clean back there. You know, there's not a bunch of grease flying up into the wheel well, and I've got a bunch of grease inside of here. We should be good. So just spinning it. I don't hear anything. Now all I'm gonna do is take, I'm gonna put this cap back on. All right, so we get it started. Then take my prop block, right, my two by fours, and take a bigger hammer, and just sort of hit it in the center. All right, make sure that it's on there all the way, even on all sides. If you're unsure, you can always go back to your rubber mallet. Okay, around the fronts. Just check, make sure that it's seated in there all the way. And then I'm gonna take my grease gun and as I push more grease in here, you'll see this blue collar will kind of pop out a little bit. All right, that way I know there's a bunch of grease in there. It's starting to push that back out. We just removed the grease gun. Then we take our little silver cap, wherever that may have just gone. It's a bad habit of just dropping things in places. Uh, snap that back on there, we're good to go. Once we've got the tires and the rims all cleaned up, now we're gonna go through the polishing process. And the best thing that I've found is get yourself just a, a good polish. I use Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. You can pick it up at Walmart. Um, there's a few other brands out there that are pretty decent. Little trick is just to make life easier, go ahead and get you a power ball or some type of polishing wheel that goes onto a corded drill. Uh, I tried it on a cordless drill, just didn't have the same amount of power. So a, uh, a corded drill, use this power ball, get your polish on there. Uh, and then when, when I'm polishing, I found the best thing is to actually put quite a bit of pressure on the rim. I mean, these are really water spotted. They've, they've sat for a long time. You know, I wasn't even sure that these things would shine again, but uh, the ones I've done so far look really good. So just 
put a little bit of pressure on with uh, one of these and use a corded drill so it has a high RPM and it'll, you know, it may take a couple times, but it'll get there, they'll, they'll shine up, they'll look good. This wraps it up for the wheel portion of this project. We've shined these up, just you know, a little bit of a cleaner, then some mother's mag wheel polish, got the, got the wheels looking really good from what they did look like. We ordered the new tires. I'll put a link down there to these specific tires that I did get off of Amazon, about 50 bucks a piece. Can't beat it. We just went down to Allen's Automotive. Uh, I suggest anybody, if you're around the Fort Bragg area in Moore County, go see Allen's. Uh, automotive right there in Vass. They always take care of me. They always do a great job. And this baby's ready to go travel and go do some fishing.